Hello, uh, today I'm gonna show you how to make a business card. So, let me see how to make something like this design for your personal business card. So, you really need elegant design. Yeah. Right. So, let's get to it. First of all, uh, the fonts we'll be using is this lateral blades one. I would put this in the in the fire also. You find this in the description below. You find all the supported fire from this tutorial. So, okay. So, open your Adobe Photoshop and first we will make a pattern. We go to find new to 1000 by 1000 with 300 pixels. So, the color. You would print your business card so you need to make a good quality for it. And then go to rectangle tool in here and just make a 500 pixel by 500 pixel rectangle. This will be the goal. With the guides. You can turn on, uh, like you can show rules, rules by clicking Ctrl plus R. Just drag it. And go to like so. Just put more rules for so we can like, create our pattern. Will be easy. Thing to make sure this shape is like this shape selected. So you can make a shape vector shapes. Okay. Now we make a triangle. Like so by clicking shift and by clicking shift also it will click. I will choose this color in here. Okay. Now we're gonna go with just duplicate it. And press Ctrl T and rotate it 180. Click OK. We choose uh, this color in here. And we select the both of them and we duplicate the both. Press Ctrl T and we drag it in here. Click OK. Now we make a uh, select the both again. Ctrl J and duplicate Ctrl T. And drag it in here. Now right click, click horizontal. So now we change the color for each one in here. Change this color. Change this color. I will put uh, the, this pattern in the file description too. So, like it in here. Okay. And there we go, we have our pattern. Make everything by selecting Ctrl Shift Alt P. No, sorry, but we need to, to deselect the background. Now, just Ctrl P. Now, 
for be easy to make a pattern in here like we just right click convert to smart object and we double click on it click ok now we have our pattern well we go to edit define pattern let's make it turn or you can call it whatever you want but click ok now Now we open our template. You, you will find it in the file, in the supported file. So just go to this card template in here. You can add it like this. So we can. This is the safe area we will put the design in the train area. And this is the area. So just make sure you never cross the safe area. Okay, so we we'll make a new here and we go to the pattern in here. Okay, we we'll choose a 13% pattern like so. Okay, and now we we'll make a new layer in here and we we'll it in it. Soft gray, really soft gray. So, press Alt Delete. Now we we'll lower the opacity. Okay, this is for the front business card. 15% like this. We merge the clicking shift control or T. Let's call this front. That's I think it's a really cool design. Really neat. Now we'll go back to the same file in here and we fill it with dark gray. Okay. Alt delete. We have our back business card. Now we have the front and the back. Let's call this back. Now, like in the back, you can put your own logo. We we'll just choose a custom shape in here. But you know, you should put your own logo. That's in here. To bold. To your logo. So. This is just that. It's a little trick in here by pressing Alt and the arrow keys like to the right so you can adjust the text in here. Overlay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, why is it here? Alright, this is just an example. We can add a drop shadow too for your logo. Like so it's like we're done with the back, so like this put everything in the group and pressing control G. Let's call this back. I will put the whole PSD file and download it for free. Now the text in here Playing with the text. So we apply the same trick again. custom shapes there's like a lot of places you can find the custom shapes there is all like you can find icons with the phone service so always put your email Side two. And the last one, I think, is your location. Just that for okay. Let's give it a little bit of shadow. This things will make it to zero and the size to four. Now 
we just click alt and then we copy for it. That's your number. No, whatever. This is like the safe area, I should never cross this line. No. Duplicate this one too. Duplicate this one too. You can add whatever you want for to the the info or the design. Just find it like you need. It. Keep it like this. So this add a little bit little vignette to the back front of our. Just go to gradient overlay. You choose radio. Mirror burst color. Start it. 150 and you can have 13%. Okay. You change the render mode to overlay. You have to pass it a little bit. 14%. Click OK. There we go. We'll just put everything to the group. Go to front. Back to front. Back.
just make sure that you put the, the color the color mode to CMYK that's like very important for to to print it and there you go I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and comment and like this video and stay tuned for more video tutorials to come have a nice day